What's up, you guys? So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, hopefully going to be doing more of these going forward. But going to be going on a four-store toy hunt. I was heavily uh, influenced or pushed or uh, just, you know, homies talk to me often about it. But the Century TMC and the homie the Funko Cop. They both got me to, uh, you know, push me out to let's go try doing some toy hunts. I think we all do toy hunts anyways, but it's just something, uh, you know, give give a little more content and just give you guys a chance to see what's going on in my neighborhood. And at any point in time, it's something that you guys uh, need that you can't find in your store or anything like that. I'd be more than glad to pick it up for you and all that. We can exchange details and all that. Just hit me up on instagram or you know here or wherever and we'll get that popping so today we're going to be checking out my local one of my, one of my local comic book shops uh we are going to be checking out target a GameStop, and a place called myers which is you know pretty much the same as a target and walmart and best buy maybe not as many electronics as best buy but that same sort of big box uh toy store kind of thing so gonna be checking out those four places i will say disclaimer uh before we get started the comic book shop that i first went to there was a little bit of an issue with time i kind of did it quickly the store was closing and there was actually a family in there and music was playing not really loud but to where you couldn't hear me so at any point in time there's uh music playing in any one of these parts uh that is the reason why without that being said let's just hop into it guys see you back here soon
All right, you guys, sorry about that last place. They actually had music on, so I couldn't talk as much, but uh, I will be able to in here. Be going inside of Meyer, be checking out some of their pops, some of their figures, some of their cards, just seeing what they have. They are kind of like a localized uh, Walmart. They have a bunch of them, I think, throughout like Indiana and Michigan, but they're a pretty decent store, so let's go. All right, guys, so first thing I'm seeing off gate here, we got some sword and shield packs. So it's not not really nothing. Um, more sword and shield. Put that. More sword and shield. We got some ETBs, Crimson, uh, Invasion. I like that. Another sword and shield. So then we got some tins down here. I don't see anything like hidden fakes up front right now. So this is a front a tag team. Got a Yu-Gi-Oh box here, Q, which I actually still play. So uh, that is the Barbie aisle. Let's not <laughs> let's not go that way. Come this way. So I know some of you guys. Uh, Check out the Marvel Legends. So we got uh, Superior Foes of Spider-Man right here. I like that. It's pretty dope. It's dope. Yes. Uh, here we go. That's pretty fire. Spider-Woman. And then we got uh, Marvel's Cannonball back there. Put these back. Uh, nothing really. I'm not seeing nothing. They got a bunch of them. I see a Marvel, Spy Master, Hydro Man. That's the guy, man. They got a Weapon X. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check out some more stuff. See what they got. So it looks like they're pretty light. So they had Champions Path pin collection, Champions Path, uh, ETV. Those are white. Um, Hidden Fates. They had the double V box, Champions Path pin collection. So they had the whole Champions Path right here. Of course, that's gone. But they got some Darkness of Blaze, which is a good one. Pretty dope, yeah. Another sword and shield. Uh, they never have DVZ anymore, which bums me out. You're in the camera now. Um, yeah, I don't really see any sports cards, really. So, there's a baseball 2020. That's some stuff in clear. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing so much. I don't think I'm getting anything from here. So, uh, let's, uh, I know they got some pops. So let's see what we can try and get to those. All right, you guys, uh, sorry about the sunlight, but uh, the last place was a little bit of a bus, you know. They was cleaned out of everything, Pokemon card-wise, no DBZ cards, not really any pops, some decent Marvel Legends. I didn't see any NECA stuff. Um, 
I, I try to look maybe for posters or t-shirts, but nothing really like that. Of course, nobody ever has model kits here except for um, the hobby shop that I have and Barnes & Noble. That's about it, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to hop in here to Target, see if they have anything worth getting. And uh, yeah, let's go. These are pretty dope. It's a Kale Cam version of Funimation exclusive. Got a got on death side Barbie. That's ball trouble. Old Frieza, Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku. Vegeta, and then we got the Dragon Star figures. These are pretty dope. You can see these at Walmart. I mean, uh, Walgreens and Walmart. Red Eyes, Target Con. Um, over here we have the Tennis Two.
Well, I mean, that, those were the stores. Um, it was a pretty dry day. This was a uh, Wednesday that I had went on or Thursday, I believe. Uh, Thursday, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, this was, this was either right before stores were going to be stocking stuff, maybe, or I just caught on the bad day. But it was a little dry out there today, you guys. So, uh, I, it was fun. That is the name of the game. Sometimes you don't always get the things you want or you would like to bump into some really rare or dope things. It was crazy how the path of champions were cleared out there were no hidden fates um only other than Meyer did i really see some etbs that were you know i mean worth the time it was maybe one uh with the darkness of blaze were no NECA figures so that was kind of crap you didn't see any of those there was actually marvel legends pretty much everywhere we went um pretty much a lot of ones that are you know there was a lot of the same ones there so couple of decent ones to really good ones so nothing too much to hang your hat on a lot of pop sections were really dry with nothing but commons maybe seeing two or three uh exclusives and that was at gamestop nothing too major i didn't pick up a big haul or anything like that but uh i was leaving in general to go to my local comic book store the books comics and things the first store we went to and I had pre-ordered this poster. And you guys are like, so you did all this. Only thing you got was a poster or really. And I'm just like, listen, you guys, this is probably one of the dopest posters that I have. And I have a lot of dope posters. And I actually pre-ordered this right whenever stores started to open back up uh, in the middle of the pandemic or whatever. And the lady had this in her window. I passed on getting it because I thought she was not going to sell it. I thought it was just something that she was putting in her storefront to catch people's eyes. Well, she it was for sale. She ended up selling. So I got it pre-ordered and it took quite a while to get here. It's October and I think I pre-ordered this in July or June. I called back a couple times. I was just thinking maybe the lady forgot about me when she got them in and sold them. But everything was sort of backed up. A lot of long-windedness by me just now but with that being said let's go ahead and check out this poster i'm really excited for this one hey so let's get into it let's unroll this bad boy hopefully i don't have it upside down and i do not so as you guys can tell hopefully one moment if you can tell i know it's all rolled but this is a picture of a poster of the spider verse and not only does it have uh, Spider-Man from every decade or era or multiverse, but it even has the lizard in there. And you have Sandman. You like, there's a lot of people, even in like the Wilson Fisk, if you check through some of the windows. I love this poster. I'll give you guys a nice little view of it right now. I'll put up a bigger size picture of it. This thing is beautiful. I love it. Uh, I I love everything Spider-Man and I have never seen this poster anywhere including online and I'm just glad I finally got something really cool in my collection that I can add to the walls I hope to do more of these hunts for you guys and toy hunts and everything you guys let me know what are some of your favorite things out there that I can keep my eyes on uh, I like to check out pops video games Buddy Century been getting me into some of the NECAs or just regular figures. Um, I know that my boy Funko Cop and me go hard in for the Gumpla stuff, so I always try to check out that, even though those aren't really hardly ever around, which is why I never knew about them uh, six or seven months ago. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for taking the time. Let me know if I missed anything while I was out hunting and some of your favorites. Thank you guys. I appreciate you always for taking the time. Take it easy.